um, Bryce Cartel had a new video release. I think it was his new summer song. Lady upset to me, some post Cartel, and was like, um, huh? How you would do that? Walk and Talk says Jay Frey is trying to stop his interview no, no, with Vibes Cardo. The man, the man uh, the fan I put on a long time and, and, and release it with me, dog. Dog, what kind of man this, bro? Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another update. So we have this female goes by the name Pinky, a exposed Vibes Cartel X. Shorty, I say, whenever she posts anything for Vibes Cartel, Shorty get vexed. So we'll show you a video as it relates to that. Also in this update, we have Walk and Talk exposing Jeffrey trying to stop his interview with Vibes Cartel. We also see where Selector Boom Boom came out and say, you know, Vibes Cartel not going to do any interview with Jeffrey because when, you know, he was behind bars, Jeffrey was talking, say, you know, Vibes Cartel can't come back and run the place because of the new youth, them are run things now. So you want to stay tuned for that alongside some other updates. But before we get into all these updates, please remember to leave a like on this video. Very important. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as yet and leave your thoughts down in the comment section. So now viewers, the first thing we want to talk about is this female goes by the name Pinky. Yeah, she's a promo girl. Seems like she used to power with Shorty and stuff. You know, she's saying that whenever she posts anything for Vibes Cartel, Shorty Vex. She said, you know, Vibes Cartel did a video for his summertime music video. And when she reposts it, you know, you know, Shorty got in her feelings. So it seems as if Shorty now have nothing to do with the Vibes Cartel. So viewers, check out this interview, you know, by The Fix, Big Up The Fix. And tell me what you think about it. Leave it in the comment section. That she's upset that you are so close Let to her. Let me tell you what happened. And she Let me tell you what happened. Fell out. All right, you oh, see the day? The day that we left, right? Mm. Um, we I left her house. Left her house. Mm -hmm. I, I, I recently posted, um, Bryce Cartel had a new video release. I think it was his new summer song. Uh, what's the name again? Uh, I don't remember, but it was his, it was his new summer song at the time, mm. right? And I posted the video, cause the video just dropped some reposts and tagging my everything and in comment and everything. And the lady upset to me, some post cartel and was like, um, huh? How you would do that? On, on, in a, under my roof and this, I say, so were you on, what that have to do with me? Mm -hmm. Furthermore, Carter is a man, once you work him up, pay him very kind. Same no, very you, you can't say that. Like, you <laughs> yeah, so you want to pay me. Yeah, but you get paid to post. And, and you me do get that. paid for uh, work, me working. You know? Yeah. So, 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 what? Mm -hmm. But don't they tell you already, your fight and female fight and my fight. Mm -hmm. So viewers, basically what this female is saying is that Shorty want her to take side with her against Vibes Cartel. But why would she do that? Yeah man, I work, she at work. And why would Shorty want to, you know, stop anything progressive with Vibes Cartel? Because I would figure that anything Vibes Cartel do, I go benefit her whether directly or indirectly or either to or you with them. So you the viewers can tell me what you think about this. Leave it in the comment section. So now viewers, we see Walk and Talk come out, you know, exposing Jeffrey, trying to stop his interview with Vibes Cartel. Yeah man, because you know recently Vibes Cartel advertised say Mago do an interview with Walk and Talk. So it seems like you know Jeffrey went on his toxic talk platform and posted an old video with Walk and Talk doing an interview. So basically Walk and Talk say Jeffrey just looking clout right now and trying to get back in the game because you know Walk and Talk get a one up over him. So viewers check this out. Walk and Talk says Jay Frey is trying to stop his interview with Vibes Cardo. The man, the man, the man, the man, the man, put on a long time and, and, and release it with me, dog. Dog, what kind of man this, bro? So, where am I trying to stop? You can't tell him to stop. I can't tell him to stop. You can't tell him to stop. Yo, that's Jaggy. What the fuck, crap, with your boy? Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. People are being clear. Come in. <laughs> So basically, Walk and Talk is saying that you know Jeffrey is trying to stop his interview with Vibes Cartel, and we also see Boom Boom came out and I say Vibes Cartel seems like he might reconsider doing the interview with Walk and Talk because when he was behind bars, you know Jeffrey and Walk and Talk went on the Let's Be Honest podcast and say Vibes Cartel cannot run road when he touch back out from prison because of the new youth them are run the thing right now. So viewers, check this out. Let's say cock 
So after Boom Boom made that statement and it seems as if Vibes Cartel was reconsidering doing the interview with Walk and Talk, then we see Boom Boom send out a voice message confirming that Vibes Cartel will do the interview with Walk and Talk. Yeah man, I get him interview man, that is a must man. I just show the teacher kind of busy man, but I get it man. I believe I go down one day and the next week him get it. So Boom Boom there confirming that Walk and Talk will get his interview. Yeah man, seems like one of the Gaza fans them tell Vibes Cartel say don't do no interview with them boy they because them did a chat up on them podcast say so you can't run the place when you come out of prison. You the viewers can tell me what you think about this. So leave it in the comment section. So viewers, after the man them rush Shalom yesterday on TikTok live, you know, Shalom returned with this message. Shalom and Shalom come down now. Every day above ground is a blessing and lesson at the same time. Only thing me never expect I own of a thief my phone and my bag and the me buckle of water, but shalom. Yeah. What is this for phone now, you know? What is it me there? Hey. Mm. So now viewers, it is said that 450 recently got married. Yeah man, and left some of him female fans them in tears. We have this female fan literally crying after hearing the news that 450 just got married. Yeah, no people, Uncle Dexter Daps can do that otherwise from 450, yeah man, so you know say 450 thing na normal, literally Michael Jackson style. But you the viewers can tell me what you think about that, leave it in the comment section. So now viewers, you see where recent the Vibes Cartel went down to Moby and Vibes Cartel wore this Louis V suit and the people actually go figure out the price, how much Vibes Cartel suit come up to which amount to approximately nine hundred and forty eight thousand dollars yeah man the jacket come up to three hundred and twenty six thousand dollars the pants of a four hundred and seventy two thousand you know vibes cartel shoes balenciaga come up to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars and this suit is full louis vuitton but you the viewers tell me if we have spend that amount on a suit almost a million dollars leave it in the comment section so everybody knows say Luton and Stitchy was hospitalized in the hospital and needed surgery. Yeah man, so Luton and Stitchy was asking for donation and stuff. We, and we see where Bounty Killer gave approximately 10,000 USD yeah man, to help with the assistance of Luton and Stitchy. Yeah man, them say Luton and Stitchy even recover and him eyes them are open and so forth. So viewers, I'm gonna run this video with Bounty Killer making his donation and also giving a speech. And you tell me what you think. Leave it in the comment section. Inspired me musical. Some me am not dread. <laughs> we recite that for months to catch all the lyrics, the storytelling, the cadence, the style, the humor, the whole poetry in his music. So Stitchy has touched me musically from I was a youth till I get to learn who Stitchy is and he is a great person and a good man for me till he has changed his life to Christian faith. If you check Fast and Pray video, I'm in the video where the man of Fast and Pray for me. That was like the late 90s or early 2000s. So we all see that Stitchy needs some help. And I'm playing to the music industry insiders more than the general public because this is a problem with the music industry. We don't come together for each other. And that's very saddening to me. A Wally Powerich as musician, and a me alone, and a Richie alone, 
the whole are we rich in our music and some are we rich financially and some are we we can help each other make we do the chain link today we gather here to make a monetary donation to Cleveland's wife Mrs. Leng there's one thing that you said that I would love to say a little thing about. You see, a lot of people say, Why well, the stitches? Stitches supposed to reach out and the argument start. No, we're learning today that this skill has been going on for a few years. So sometimes, no matter how much money you have, the reservoir can be empty too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and hence why it's most expensive. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes, yes. so I'm glad you need to hear my brother. brother. You cannot ask how much for it or when you have mm -hmm. to pay. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Your yes. life or your life. Yeah, yeah, so it's a, and it's then we're going to extend on your topic now. People are so we're, 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 we're stitching money then. How long stitching has been a Christian? From 1997, that's 20, how much years? 27 years. All right. How many gospel show keep for the year? So how much you go in our gospel show? Who are look for gospel artists to do dub clean? Who are take gospel artists go in dust them product? Just name them now. When you used to earn a hundred, going into gospel is like earning 15 or 20 per, 20 percent of where you used to earn. I like. I, I like tithes you get now. Oh. But you're doing it for the Lord. Right. He did not choose, well, on, if you don't think about income, he would have stayed as a big artist. Sure. God Facts. call him and he have to leave everything behind. Facts. And we Facts. have to take up the slack when he leaves. Yes, man, fast and pray for me. So me no business about nobody. Yeah. He prayed for me. Yeah. And yeah. I've been through some hell and thunder. So, we as artists, we know the difference when you become a Christian with earnings. So we could never look on a man who have changed in life 27 years ago and say him and make what kind of money. True. And it doesn't matter what money he made. If he had any issue and we as we he can help. help him. We're not supposed to look at things like that. Is the situation at hand? No. I heard people say that about Tiger. You know? And no Tiger barely can talk good. I mean, we didn't in that accident. Yeah. In speech, in speech, in period. And people are, are things like Tiger could have, have money till now. Oh. This is how Jamaican people are selfish sometimes from one another. You know? mm -hmm. And we laugh at each other demise and don't fall. You, know? you cannot take nothing with you. So the only riches you can have is in your soul. Anything else you have, those are accessories of the hurt. My riches is my soul. So as I said, this man fast and pray for me. And I know that this man is a good man. Stitchy has never done nothing in the public eye to discourage or to, to, to influence any negative. This man is a role man and he's a legend. And me and my foundation, we partnered with doctors Harville, Borel, Odi, better known as Shaggy. And we put 10,000 US together to put towards his go fund for his health care. So, so, this is a check. Yes. 10,000 US. Yes. Now, again. Yes. 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 Yes.